Sure. So for about 10 years now, we've been releasing our National Activity Index, which is essentially a measure of economic activity in the entire country. Our new Midwest Economy Index is a, a similar concept, except it measures activity in the five states in the 7th Federal Reserve District, so Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Uh, they're both uh, similarly constructed, so they're weighted averages of a very large number of indicators. Uh, for the Midwest Economy Index, we divide these indicators up into four broad sectors of the economy, manufacturing, services, construction and mining, and what we call consumer spending. And when then within those four sectors, there are the five states in our district. So we can really um, dial down the, the level of growth, not only to the sector of the economy in the Midwest, but also the, the state. It kind of gives us a better sense of the, the sources of growth within our own district. Our National Activity Index does something similar, but in a broader sense, capturing uh, four different areas of the U.S. economy. Production and income variables, uh, employment, unemployment, and hours measures, uh, personal consumption and housing, and also sales orders and inventories. So they, they have a mapping to each other that's very similar, but our new index is really designed to give us a better sense of what's going on in our own district. Uh, both indexes are actually constructed in a very similar manner. So the idea is that we want to express them relative to their historical average. The historical average gives us a sense of where either the U.S. economy or the Midwest economy uh, tends to grow, uh, a certain rate at which they tend to grow at. Uh, we can think of both as what's been called a Goldilocks index. So that zero value for the index, what represents for us its historical average, is kind of where the U.S. economy or the Midwest economy tends to over time. That's the porridge that's just right. Positive values indicate above average growth, so that's the porridge that's starting to get a little warm. And then negative values indicate below average growth. And we've known for a while now through various uh, research projects that for our national activity index, measures uh, values of the index that are well below zero, very negative, tend to align well with recessions. Uh, measures or values of the index that are very positive, so well above zero, tend to be a good indicator of inflationary pressures.